I'm gonna teach you the art of prompting so you can get the images that you want. I'm not gonna give you any specific prompts, no specific words, because in these days, that's not how you prompt AI images. Back in the day, that used to be the case. Now AI is very good and all it needs, it's a little bit of context. However, what's also very important is the AI model that you use to generate images. I'm gonna show you a couple of differences between different models. So here's the prompt I used to create this six, seven Valentine's design that's very popular on Etsy right now. And here's what it looks like in Nano Banana. Here's the same prompt that I use in Flux. As you can see, these two differ a little bit. And here's the same prompt that I use in GPT Image 1.5, which is like the newest AI generation model for images. And it also has a completely different style. So the model you pick to generate images is very important because each one of them will give you different style even though you give it the same prompt. And the three models that I showed you are actually very similar. GPT 1.5, Nano Banana, and Flux are known for one thing. They're very good with context and referencing. And the other three models that are very popular, such as Ideogram, Leonardo, and C-Dream 4, are better with more artsy style. So if you want to create more realistic context-heavy images, such as wall art, all paintings, or maybe you offer some sort of AI services where you restore old photos or add someone who passed away into an image, you probably wanna go with Nano Banana, Flux, or GPT Image 1.5. But if you try to create more artistic things, like clip art, maybe some logos, different designs, go with Ideogram, C-Dream 4, or Leonardo AI, because these tend to be more artistic. However, that doesn't mean that you cannot use Nano Banana or Flax for artistic images either. In fact, I would argue that Nano Banana, Flax, and GPT Image 1.5 will create also very good artistic designs. But these three right here are specifically built for artistic designs. They are okay with context. They're not as good with realistic photos. These are very good with realistic photo and good with artistic photos too. And in 2026, most models are good with text. So back in the day, it used to be that there were certain models that were very good with text. I believe Ideogram was the first one that was very good with text. Now all of them are capable of recognizing text and putting text into images. Some do it better than the others. For example, Flax, I believe, does a very good job with text, same as with Nano Banana. But overall, they all do pretty decent job. Now, I'm gonna show you the best way to prompt because a lot of people don't know what to tell AI what they want, right? And I don't know about you, but for me, it's easier to say what I want than to type it. And AI is very good with this these days. It can recognize what you're speaking to it and put it into a prompt. So I'm gonna show you a very easy trick that I use all the time, and I prefer this than anything else. So go to the ChatGPT, and ChatGPT has a feature where you can talk to it. And this is the secret, guys. Just talk to the AI. Don't type it, okay? Just talk to it. So let's say I wanna create an old painting of some lady in the desert, okay? Hey, can you give me an AI prompt that I can use in Nano and Banana for an old painting picture of a lady walking in the desert alone? There's one palm tree in the background. Absolutely. Here's a prompt you can use in Nano Banana to generate that image. Create an oil painting style image of a solitary woman walking alone in a vast desert. The scene should have warm, sandy tones and a single palm tree visible in the background. The atmosphere should feel peaceful and slightly introspective, capturing the quiet solitude of the desert environment. Feel free to tweak it if you want any additional details. Boom. See how easy it is? I'm going to create this image, but before I do that, I want to say a couple of things. First of all, when you tell AI or ChatGPT in this case, to give you the prompt, mention which AI model you're going to use because based on that data, the chat GPT or whichever one you're going to use, if it's Gemini, it also can be a Gemini, it will give you prompt like slightly more dedicated for the AI model. So I want to create the prompt for Nano Banana. I assume, I don't know, but I'm guessing that like this prompt is adjusted for Nano Banana. It can probably work in any AI model, but we're going to use it for Nano Banana. And we're gonna use Nano Banana in Creatorium AI. And if you guys don't know what Creatorium AI is, it's my 
software that I built. So if you are a seller on Etsy and you want all the tools in one place, this is what it is, okay? I got tired of paying a bunch of different subscriptions for the Etsy research tool, for AI generators, for background removals, for photo editors, etc. Creatorium AI has everything you need, okay? It has mock-up generator, image generators, video generators. It even has an SEO title generator, which we use data that we collect from Etsy and the information that Etsy puts out every month about SEO, and it will create SEO optimized styles for you. And it can also show you viral listings on Etsy that are tagged as the best seller, popular now, or have at least 20 add to cards. And they're also separated into categories. So if you, for example, specialize in clip art, it will show you just that, okay? And right now we're running a special promo. See the link below, it will already includes the promo. If you wanna try it out, this is the best tool, but we're gonna go to the AI and image text generator and we're gonna use Nano Banana. And I'm gonna copy the prompt that our friend ChatGPT created and let's see what type of results we are gonna get. Boom, this is pretty good. Look at the precision of this AI model, okay? We got all painted style, which is exactly what I requested. We got the one palm tree in the background because I said I want one palm tree, okay? And we got the woman walking in the desert. It's exactly everything I asked for, okay? And it was way easier for me to say this out loud, speaking it, than typing it. I'm telling you, there's some power in talking. Talk, talk to the AI. You don't have to type it anymore. You can just simply talk to it. It's way easier and the AIs are so good these days, they can recognize what you are speaking about. And since we are in Nano Banana, I wanna show you one more thing. So let's say I generated this image and I don't like something, right? So a cool thing about Nano Banana is that you can modify these images on the go. So there's this feature called Remix built in Creator AI and you can click on it and you can pinpoint things. Like for example, I can pinpoint on the woman and I can say that replace woman with a man and I can click on apply and that's gonna apply that change. And boom, now we got a guy or I can, for example, get rid of this palm tree so I can highlight the area that I wanna get rid of and I can just say, remove the palm tree. And that way we're just gonna get the picture of the guy on the desert. Boom, simple. This is why I really like Nano Banana because Nano Banana works great with context. And it has that remix feature that I just showed you. Okay, but let's say English is not your first language. That's fine because AI doesn't care. AI can recognize almost any language you want. So I speak Polish as well. So now I'm gonna create this prompt in Polish. I'm gonna talk to the AI in Polish. So. Watch this. Możesz mi dać prompt do nano banany, aby stworzyć obraz taki oil painted człowieka, który idzie z jedną palmą w tle. Oczywiście. Oto prompt. Stwórz obraz w stylu olejnego malarstwa, przedstawiający samotną osobę idącą w tle widoczna jest pojedyncza palma. Użyjcie w i nadaj całości klasycznego malarskiego klimatu. So now we're gonna copy this prompt in Polish and I'm gonna paste it again. And boom, we got a guy, we got a desert. We got two palm trees because I didn't say, I didn't say how many palm trees I want. So we create like a little oasis, but it's fine. It works very well, even though I use a completely different language. Language doesn't matter. You can do it in any language you want it. It doesn't have to be in English, but it's just way easier to prompt when you speak. But now let's say you are on Etsy and you wanna replicate certain style, okay? So to me is very important when I prompt is a reference photo, because if you give an AI a reference photo, it can recognize the style and you can replicate this style in the future by simply replacing an object. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm using the Etsy research tool that's built in in Creatorium. And I'm gonna use this feature called crop for AI because I wanna create this yarn style design that you can kind of see right here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I'm gonna crop just this style. I'm not gonna crop the whole image because the, if I do that, I'm gonna create a reference of the whole mockup. I don't want the mockup. I just want the yarn style for the Santa. So I'm gonna crop this and I'm gonna save the cropped photo. And I have it right here. And now I'm gonna go back to our image generator. 
And right here, I can upload reference photos. And I'm going to upload the one I just created. So I'm going to drag and drop it from my folder. And there's a couple things that I can do, OK? One, I can just simply say, it depends on the model you use. Flux is actually very good with context, so I can use Flux. Uh, same with Nano Banana and GPT 1.5. But I can just simply say, create an image of a black Santa in the same style as this photo, OK? We're going to get black Santa. We got white Santa, and now we're going to get a black one, OK? And boom, we got exactly what we asked for, right? We got exact copy, but copying is not ideal. So you don't want to copy, really. But you can remove background, and now we got just the design itself. Because here, we can still see a lot of mock-up, right? There was a little bit of skin and a t-shirt. But now I just got the design, right? But that's, that's too accurate. That's too accurate. It's literally the same thing. It's just a black guy instead of a white guy. But I'm going to show you a different thing. So I'm going to remove this prompt. And right here, we have a button that says Get AI Prompt. So what this is going to do is we're going to use AI to analyze this photo and give us the prompt for this. And why is this more powerful? Well, if we get just the prompt, we can modify the prompt. So we can change an object. So instead of Santa, we can say, I don't know, a reindeer or a cactus or whatever, right? When you get the prompt, we can use this more. So we got the prompt right here. I'm going to click on Use. And now I can modify the prompt right here. As you can see, it's a very detailed prompt, OK? There's a lot of information here. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace anything that says Santa Claus face with dog face, OK? Because I just want a dog. I'm going to do Control F and look for any words that says Santa and replace it with dog, OK? Let's click on Generate and see what type of image we're going to get. All right, we got a dog that looks like a Santa. It even has a beard. It's probably I will have to modify this prompt a little bit. But it's fine, because here's another thing that we can do, OK? There's this feature right here that says Get Variants. And what this do, it will create similar variants in the same style. So let me show you. So when I click on Eight Variants, AI is going to generate eight different variants in the same style but with different object. And here are these variants. I can double click and see the prompt itself. But let's generate like the first one and the second one, for example, because I'm curious to see what they're going to look like. OK, so here we got a variant of the cat, which makes sense because we got a dog. So AI figure out the closest thing to the dog is a cat. Then we got a reindeer, which also makes sense because it's related to Santa Claus. Then we got a penguin, also makes sense. It's related to winter, I guess. But you get the point. Now we are getting different variants in the same style using slightly modified prompt. And we got the black Santa too right here. But what about if you sell services like this, where you create animated pictures of your customers on Etsy, like this listing right here? And you need consistent character in different emotions. So instead of maybe them being on the beach and laughing, they are cooking, right? It's very easy to do this too. So first of all, how do you create something like this? Well, I'm going to show you. You can take a screenshot of this so you can get the style of the animation, right? Again, we're getting a reference photo. Then we can go to Nano Banana, and I'm going to upload a picture of myself. So I just uploaded two photos. One is a picture of me, and the other one is a screenshot of the style that I'm trying to copy. And AI, again, is very good with context. So what I can do is I can literally say this, make the guy from pick Number one, as you can see, each picture is marked with numbers. So this is number one. In the style of the pick number two, OK? See, number two. And check this out. And boom, now I am in this animated style, right? But now let's say I want to change this character background. So what I can just simply say is change his background to jungle. And voila, now the guy is on the jungle. And I have a consistent character, but and this was very, very simple and easy. So as you can see, prompting cannot be that hard. It's really all about the context and using reference photos. And seriously, try talking to AI instead of typing your words out. It's just way easier that way. And if you want to use our tool, Creatium AI, which is a one tool that has everything in order to start selling digital products or print on demand products on Etsy, go to creatiumai.com. Right now, we're running a special promo. 
So don't miss on this opportunity because on top of the tool, you also get access to our community. We can join our weekly meetings, come to Discord, talk to other people like me and you who are interested in this type of topics. And every week I give a lot of updates based on what's going on in the world of Etsy and AI because that's what everyone is interested in these days. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. See ya, my friend.